Welcome to the Mike and Max cast with Mike and Max. Hello, buddy. Hello, hello, everyone. Just just us again. Take a seat. Take a seat. Get ready. Put the harness on. Yep. Because you're about to go for a wild ride. You paid the full price, but you will only need the edge of the seat. <laughs> so what's been going on? Not much, man. Yeah. I've been working on this motorbike, as the kids yeah. call them. And uh, it's looking good. But is it good? Yeah, I, I don't you, know. Doctor because... says that she might, you know, have some long-lasting problems, but... Because looks... Yeah. Can be deceiving. Yes, as Doctor Seuss once said. Yeah. You know, <laughs> red fish, blue fish, green cat fish, in the hat. two fish. Why did those kids let a cat in their house? I don't know. The and cat after, didn't even look. It looked look more a, human than not cat. And then they're like, "Clean it up." Yeah. Clean the fish was the only one that's like, guys. It's all right, I man. If, I don't know if you want to do this. The cat did it. Dr. Seuss was the first book that I can recall that made me just not understand words. Because yeah. it was like locks on a box with a fox. And I was like, what the fuck is locks? Yeah, I don't get it, man. And that's like bagel spread. I still don't know. I don't know what it is. Is that cream cheese? Is locks cream cheese? I don't know. I still don't know. I think that's like, uh, you know what? I'm not going to talk about something I don't know about. Yeah. Because <sighs> so I have, have no fucking idea. I have no idea either, man. I've no, I'm not uh what what's the persuasion that goes for locks and bagels? Is that is that Jewish? <laughs> right? I don't know. Isn't it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, Maybe I, I'm Jewish. I fucking love I love bagels. Yeah, I like a bagel. Good bagel. Start your day. Yeah. Slather some of that cream cheese on it. Occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like toasted bagels. No, I don't mind toasted. Just throw bagels. my face raw. <laughs> <laughs> Serve it up to me straight. All right, well, I wanted to ask you about something else. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Hey, what, what? What's up, man? Dude, calm down. Jesus. Hey. Hey. I hear that you were on eBay earlier today. Oh, yes, I was. I was (laughs) on uh, eBay, Max. What were you doing on eBay? I was trying to procure a cheap brass Zippo lighter. I always wanted a brass Zippo lighter. Okay, now, it seems like a wave of events unfolded. Yes, it was rather hectic, as has happened to probably all humans <laughs> who have used eBay. I got I got eBay sniped. Could you say that you were emotionally involved? Yeah. Okay. I got eBay sniped, so I was I found a cheap brass one. Counter was, you know, ticking down. Yeah. And I. Uh, bid but someone beat me and then they won so i was kind of sad but then i found this other brass zippo not as good as the first one that i saw mm-hmm. but it was it was pretty uh cool it was like 649 yeah two dollars shipping okay and not i bad. said uh, that's that's pretty cool i had 20 minutes left before the auction was up and i said you know what let me come back like in 10 minutes see if it goes crazy because how many people are going to be looking for an old Zippo? Yeah, and there was two bids. There was only okay. two bids. All right. And um, so I go back and I, I do another dollar, right? Seven forty nine. Yeah. The cheapest I can increase that. Okay. I was the max bidder. And uh, five minutes later, you know, it uh, I'm outbid, which you know, that's all right. It happens. It, it's life. So I go up a dollar. And it's st- I'm still not max. I go up another dollar. I'm still not max. I go up like three dollars. Uh, I'm now the max bidder. And then like two minutes, you know, I'm outbid again. And now we have about like two minutes left before yeah. this thing is done, man. Okay. Now at this point, I passed my threshold. I didn't want to pay more than ten dollars for this for this Zippo. This begs the question. Yes. Why are you still bidding? I am bidding. <laughs> <laughs> solely on my just carnal instinct to see another creature uh, lose something of themselves. 
You now, want them to pay the ultimate price yes. for the slider. So now that I can't interact and punch them, I'm going to make them pay more. <laughs> right. Because before I paid anything, the max bid was 649 Yeah. Now it's like at $12. Oh, geez. So I Doubled. Keep, I keep on increasing my amount until I'm the max bidder. And then immediately he just beats me. Okay. And then I go up a few, and then I beat him. Now we're at 20 something dollars now. I am over twice what I want to pay for this fucking brass zippo, which isn't even that great. Right. It's not the best. It's been used. It's a fucking used zippo, man. You do not want it. No. It's too much money now. No, it's way too much. You get and a new bidding. zippo for less than that. And I looked at the picture, and you could tell because the, the wick was burnt, and there's fucking scratches on it. It was horse shit. That's why I didn't want to pay more than $10. Absolutely. Which was pushing it. So now I bid him above what his was. Now I was like at 20 bucks. There's 20 seconds left on this auction, and he has not outbid me. <laughs> I was panicking. I, I'm not going to lie. I may have opened a new tab and been like, how do you get out of bidding fast? <laughs> and you abort. I'm trying to abort. I'm like, fuck. I don't want to pay. It's going to be like $22. Yeah. Actually, it was over $20. It was going to be like $25 for this mm-hmm. fucking shit Zippo. Yeah. And I was panicking because I thought I caught him, you know? Like, I just got him. And then there was five <laughs> seconds left. Yeah. And the homeboy sniped me, probably yeah. thinking he's hot shit. Yeah. And saved me all that money. <laughs> so he paid like $26, $27. Stupid Four asshole. Paid they- $20 <laughs> more. If not, I did not intervene. And just stir the pot. So you drove it up twenty dollars. Yeah. Just hate fucked it into absurdity. <laughs> I hope he enjoys his goddamn lighter. Yeah, his shitty used. <laughs> and then I went and then got another lighter with shipping for twelve dollars. Mm. That was better because it was new. <laughs> there you go. So. Yeah. That's what you gotta do sometimes, kids. You know, <laughs> if you can't get your dream, make someone pay more for theirs. To a like point that. where it's not their dream. It's just an absurd waste of space. So, will you be doing this again? Yeah, nonstop. <laughs> Every chance I have an opportunity. I was towing the line. It was exhilarating, man. I so had adrenaline. You, the rush? I was listening to, uh, what is it called? Is it I Will by the Beatles? Oh, yeah. That yeah. was playing when I was doing that. Were you really? I can't remember the lyrics in that song, really, but I don't is if that's ironic or not. <laughs> I don't know what the meaning of that song is. I'm un- Everything kinda... was a, it was just a blaze in that moment. Yeah, it was pure. <laughs> it was probably what the Romans felt when they went to battle. Yeah. Is what I felt <laughs> when I went to battle. <laughs> so what what's the next thing that you're eyeing down on eBay? Like motorcycle helmets just as a passing thing, even though I have one that has spider eggs in it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure spires have laid eggs in my helmet <laughs> motorcycle helmet and I have to clean that shit out but besides that I'm probably not going to buy a uh, helmet Yeah. I don't know what else I don't know you know Grimace Cups from McDonald's <laughs> <laughs> near mint near mint McDonald's. Grimace Cups <laughs> Hamburglar what was like the mayor Mayor McCheese Mayor McCheese Mayor yeah. McCheese uh, yeah. and who was the creepy duck glasses. girl I never knew. She had a goggles and a skirt. Yeah, and the pigtails. Ugh. Fuck. God. Yeah, this Uggo. is... Ter- <laughs> I would... I would bend Grimace over le- leaps and bounds before... That. Duck... Duck tails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, how, how are you doing, Max? <laughs> you know, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I don't really have any huge updates. Yeah, anything. that's all right. I yeah. mean... Pretty boring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just work out. You work at uh, Office Max, sorting the papers. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. The Manila envelopes. <laughs> you just count them. Yeah. That's what you do. Just taking inventory. Yeah. Ten hour Whatever. shifts. Ten hour shifts. Seven fifteen hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's is that below minimum wage. I don't know. I, I think it is know. at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I know when I one of my first jobs I was paid uh like 650 an hour. Yeah. That's uh, before be that's before tax. Right. Oof. 
So that was worth that was a worthless job when I was young. Thank God I don't work at Office Max. Yeah, doing, doing imagine that. that. And you know, there's people who are a lot older than me doing that. Yeah, right? I mean, bless them if they. You think. know, you do what you have to do, but yeah, do you know? Some people like to do that. They say fuck it, it's a job, and then they go home, and they have like those people always have like Dish TV probably, and then they do that and they watch NASCAR, or they, you know, listen to the radio. And yeah. um, hang out with friends and drink next to a lake, and then that's a that's enough for them. And that's fine. So if that's what you want, do it. Just do it. I fucking dare you. Yeah, <laughs> fucking double dog, bitch. That means you have to <laughs> send the application in. No, but you know. I, cool. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. That's awesome. I got the gamer infinity. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Yeah. All right, so you, you want to talk about some current events? Yeah. Um, don't you usually st- Okay, I guess I'll start. No, I'll, I'll do it. No, I'm just, I'm I mean, just asking if you're ready to do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm always ready, man. All I'm, right, this my, is... This is... It matters, and... Other news. Other news. So, so the first thing that matters today is... Uh, yes. Apparently, okay. Fox... Fox News anchor is under fire for fat shaming Kelly Clarkson. Huh. You know, and uh, this comes from OMG Yahoo. Credible. Credible. <laughs> That's where I get most of my stories. So anyway, Fox News's Chris Wallace took cheap and unnecessary shots at Kelly Clarkson during a guest appearance on Mike Gallagher's radio show on Friday. During a discussion about pizza. Well, there's your first yeah, red flag. Come on, <laughs> yeah, come on. It's, you're, it's entrapment. Gallagher pointed out that Wallace does a lot of fat shaming. That's the new phrase now, fat shaming. Have you seen Kelly Clarkson? You know the singer Kelly Clarkson. Holy cow, did she blow up? End quote. Gallagher said. Man, he went right for it. So is Gallagher the news anchor? Um, or is it some other fucker? Because it was someone's podcast and someone else was on it. Let's see. Or is yeah. it a radio show? It was a radio show. Radio show. Some guy yeah. has a radio sh- show and talking about yeah. pizza and, yeah, and Kelly Clarkson fat shaming. Huge. She blew up. Yep. And anyway, while Wallace attempted to dodge the discussion at first, oh, oh. before ultimately giving in, he said, she could stay off the deep dish pizza for a little while. Okay. Twitter was quick to jump on Wallace, and his comment even drew the. Is that the. Even drew fire of co worker Greta Van Susteren saying, This guy snickering about her weight is obnoxious. He should apologize. She wrote on her blog. On her blog. <laughs> Everyone has a fucking blog. Man, I need to get on that blog scene. I, I know, you can tell that pe- like, this is a story when the only sighting of outrage is someone's specific blog. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the same day the radio show aired, Clarkson, who gave birth in June... I mean, it's been almost a year. Come on. No, yeah, okay. Some push-ups. No. <laughs> some crunches. <laughs> yeah, we just no. uh, appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres. I don't even know what she looks like. Yeah, I don't know either. Honest, I, I no can't idea. tell you one thing about Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, me neither. Uh, appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show and discussed the criticism of her weight. Quote, I think what hurts my feelings for people is that I'll have a meet and greet. There's so many puns right there. After the show and a girl who's, like, bigger than... Oh, Jesus. This is how she talks. I think what hurts my feelings for people is what I'll have a meet and... Is that I'll have a meet and greet after the show and a girl who's, like, bigger than me will be in the meet and greet and be like, Wow, if they think you're big, I must be so fat to them. She said. And it's like, you're just who you are. Man, profound. God damn. Oof. Sure, that down a bit could be on a fortune cookie. <laughs> it could you know what? I think the um, I'm gonna look something up real fast because I'm under the impression that Kelly Clarkson is not like 20 years old. Yeah. Okay. Let's do some Kelly Clarkson. And if she, if she talks like that, that's kind of horrifying. I'm gonna. She I'm is gonna, 32. Right. So why is she talking like she's? Because some people talk like that and they just never learned, man. I can tell yeah. you the first time when i was in college 
Yeah. There's still a girl that talked like this. And, like, I don't know what's, what's wrong with her voice. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, <sighs> fucking shit. I, I'd rather I'd rather shit on her uh, talking than yeah. her, her fatness. I'm all for she it. She needs to lay off the absence of books. What? Okay. Get learnt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Well, calm down, dude. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna go into that lady's blog as. Yeah, she just <laughs> talk about us. <laughs> we'll be we'll be villains on her blog. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I don't. We'll talk about that during Cowboy Roundup. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now it's time for uh, other news, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. So we got um, two quick ones. Yeah. One's just a headline, the other one's a headline with some other shit on it. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. Drunk man drives stolen forklift three miles to retrieve crashed truck. Okay. This is in Fairbanks, Alaska. Sure. All right? Okay. So, <clears throat> police say a 20, 21-year-old man drove a stolen forklift more than three miles while intoxicated to retrieve a truck he crashed. And they have a picture of it, and it's so fucking crashed that I don't know how the, that forklift would have saved it. Um, uh, I'll, I'll flash it up. Yeah. Send blah, me the link when we're blah, done. Yeah. Blah, blah. Sing it up with me saying blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. That's way too annoying. You're not going to do that. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Police <laughs> Lieutenant Matt Soden says just before 6 a.m. Monday, oh, Jesus Christ, Alexander... With no X's or E's. Oh, man. No, one E. Alexander Glushko. Okay. <laughs> Alexander Glushko of Delta Junction drove off a road in a pickup and crashed into a pipe stacked in a company yard. So the pickup was left straddling pipe. <laughs> That's it a happens. sentence in the story. <laughs> the pickup was left straddling pipe. <laughs> Police say Glushkow then walked to George Horner Ice Park, stole a forklift, and drove off with it. In Alaska Railroad, workers spotted the forklift driving by the crash site, the Fairbanks Daily News Minor reports. Police mm. were at the scene when Glushko looped back. He has been charged with the felony driving under the influence of alcohol. He remained jailed Tuesday. <clears throat> so, yeah. um... Good for him. So we that's let's let's sit on that for a bit. Got one nice. last last one here. Nice. Straddle pipe. Straddle pipe, man. Straddle pipe. <laughs> Get ready, guys. Straddle pipe because I got a last story here. Uh, all right, here we go. Girls brag about Dairy Queen robbery on Snapchat. Da 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 da. It takes a certain callousness to rob an ice cream shop of tips on free cone day, but blatantly <laughs> bragging about it on the internet is just plain stupid. Police in St. Clair, Clair, Clair Shores, Michigan, say a group of five teenage girls swiped the tip jar at a Dairy Queen on Monday when the store was giving away free ice cream cones. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to skim through some of this shit, because it's what you think. Uh, uh -huh. The girls fled, and other customers took photos of them, their getaway car, and the car's plates. Oh, they shared geez. their photos with police who are investigating the robbery. <clears throat> Those photos alone may have been enough to lead police to the girls, but... Hope said what the accused teen thieves did next truly surprised her. The five oh, girls geez. posted a video clip of themselves in the car waving what appears to be cash from the robbery to Snapchat. The oh. caption says, Robbed Dairy Queen Tip Jar. They sent it to all of their friends. What are you doing, ladies? Uh, here's a quote from... Um, who is Hope? I quoted Hope earlier. Um, who the fuck is Hope? They, they never say who Hope is. No, wait, okay. Owner of Dairy Queen. Liz Hope. Oh. Um, of this, of this Dairy Queen. Not the owner of all Dairy Queens, Liz Hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they are stupid. I mean, really, who does that? They should be the dumbest criminals, Hope told Fox Detroit. <laughs> 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 they should be the dumbest criminals. Uh, is that a proper grammar? I don't even know. They should be the. They should be. Yeah, I mean. They but should not. be the dumbest. Like, is is she electing that? That's a category, somewhere, and they should be elected into it. 
They should be the dumbest. They criminals. should be if there's a, if they're having a ceremony where they elect them. Yeah, they, that they would be proper be. grammar. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Then the story goes in and explain what Snapchat is, and it's just a photo messaging app. That bullshit. So nobody cares. No one cares, and uh, they shouldn't be doing things like that. Hope said it's not how they should be growing up. So, huh? Never thought of that that way. And that's it. Okay. That's the story. Man. Well, well, shoot, dude. Shoot. That that was. Yep. It matters and other other news. <sighs> okay, that's 20 36. <laughs> 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 and now this is a Cowboy Roundup. 20 45. <laughs> we just keep in that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. So, you need some music for that, too. Like, okay. I want to hear some guns go off, like, and like, bum, bada, down, down, bum, wow. Dude, I put Cowboy Roundup music in the Did last they? one. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. I was so lit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh, Jesus. So, so we need yeah, to talk about the Clark first, yeah. I think. Good old Cal Cal. I mean,. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about her at all. Yeah, I mean, is it really that mean to say lay off the deep dish sometimes? I mean, especially when I mean, when people he, could probably say that to me. The dude was seemingly put on the spot. Yeah. It sounded he, like. I feel like he was forced into it. Yeah. I feel like he was shamed into fat shaming. <laughs> I'm going to write that in my blog post. <laughs> peer, yeah, peer pressure fat shaming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Old new slice. <laughs> I mean, I don't. You know. I think I think everybody should lay off the deep dish a little bit. Yeah, I uh, I no went matter... to Chicago once. Yeah. And we had some deep dish pizza. Yeah. And we weren't particularly rich at the time because I was going there for. It's not like you are now. Yeah, where I'm just have all this money, you know, <laughs> buying used Zippos online. <laughs> um, <laughs> it sounded really sad. And uh, <laughs> it's bitter about it, <laughs> Max. Yeah. Um, and we bought, you know, got a, we got a pie. Yeah, a za. We got some za, and then we had some left over. And we went back to our hotel. Yeah. The hotel didn't have a fridge. You should leave it out. Leave it out all night with sausage. Not sausage, like crumbled bits, but a sausage link cut into, like, quarters, and that's just a sausage pizza. Just leave it out. That's good. That's Left cute. it out. That night, woke up, had breakfast somewhere, then ate it for lunch. It, is, <laughs> it sat out for almost 24 hours. Yeah. In a relatively hot room. Room. You know. Someone probably could have told me to lay off the deep dish that day. <laughs> did now, now, did it get you? It, it didn't. Wow. So it got me too. mentally. <laughs> That's <laughs> for guess, damn sure. I guess, uh, I guess uh, it did. Yeah, so it did get me. <laughs> yeah. I lost something. That <laughs> you lost part of your yourself. That yeah. Day. There's no blog posts about that loss. <laughs> Until now. Fucking. Right now. <laughs> I'm gonna check your blog post. What What was the name of the blogger again? I don't know. I'm gonna look. Look it up. She has a blog. This is uh, Greta. Greta. Greta Van Susteren. Jesus. Van Sister. So oh my God. Google auto completed it. Wow, there you go. Is it wait? Greta Van Susteren is an American comment commentator and television presenter on the Fox News Channel. Oh, so it's a Fox News Channel like another yeah, news another, host calling yeah. out the other one. Yeah. That's so awkward. Like, what if they do like, news together? It's like workplace warfare. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Apparently she laid into him. <laughs> That's right. Da -da -ba -ba -da -ba. She has a sibling called it Dirk Van Susteren. <laughs> <laughs> What's Dirk up to? I don't know. There's uh, nothing about Dirk. Nah. Uh. But we digress. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> yeah, this is a world of stuff that I've never, ever listened to. Yeah, I don't care. Even Kelly Clarkson. I'm gonna... I don't... I'm gonna... You know what? Just put a face to the name. Kelly Clarkson. I, I googled it and can't really say... I don't know who she is. I just know that in that one Steve Carell movie when he was getting waxed, I think he yelled Kelly Clarkson. Okay. I 
You know more than me. And I, I, I didn't see that movie, nor can yeah. I name it. I just know that one scene. It's more than me, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> all I know about Kelly Clarkson. So Apparently, she's married to Brandon Blackstock. Oh, I know him. He sells <laughs> the best hemp rope. <laughs> the side of the Rockies. Man. Yeah. He makes uh, his okay. own uh, paper clips. Yeah. He sells okay. them. That's you flea know. market. I mean, he's keeping them afloat. It's great. Yeah. He's the breadwinner of that family. Yeah, obviously. All those custom paperclip dollars coming in. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. So, my question to you, Max. Yeah. How did Alexander Glushko uh, know that there was a forklift over three miles away? That's a good question. And how did he get there drunk walking three of those miles? <laughs> In Alaska. In Alaska, where there's probably wolves and deer. Yeah, just element. Jumping at them. Yeah. Um, well. He never if, said he worked there. If, yeah, if we're going to be real, that's what I would say. Like, he knew somebody that worked there, or he worked there himself. In but, his drunk state. <laughs> but, I'm thinking he, uh... He's Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what's going on. Um, that's That'd be hard, because there's not a lot of tall buildings around. That tends the forklift. Can't get any pulley system going for a spider web. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah okay. Yeah. That checks out. <laughs> that'd be the worst spot. Spider-Man in, in Fairbanks. <laughs> you have to yeah. get, like, on a... You have to own a car. <laughs> Like a snowmobile? Yeah. The spider mobile? <laughs> yeah, he would have to. Yeah. He'd just be running and shit. <laughs> yeah, good, nothing to swing on. Yeah, he can't, like, 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 whip onto snow. It's not gonna fucking help you. <laughs> no. Little to none. And, like, the highest part of the trees aren't strong enough to, like, to, swing like, on, so it just like, break. So you'd be doing, like, the closest tree would be, like, like six feet. Off the ground, and then you have to like, do like weird side spinning, and he'd hit a deer sometimes or something. <laughs> like the most I can see him doing up there is like, like making making uh, a catapult out of trees and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like he just has a catapult himself. <laughs> yeah, just like Looney Tunes shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Spider Man's drunk, yeah. and he's in Alaska. <laughs> That's how you know the truck's riding pipe. Yeah, that really sounds like a surf term. Yeah, the <laughs> the pickup was left straddling pipe. <laughs> So, if that wants to be someone's album, <laughs> Left Straddling Pipe. Yeah, there you go. I think maybe Egg Fist. Uh, yeah, Pickup was Left Straddling Pipe. <laughs> and it was its own paragraph, too. It was yada yada yada, period, return, the Pickup was Left Straddling Pipe, period, return, new paragraph. It was its own thing. It's like you're reading poetry. Yeah. It's like free ride. It's like a Shel Silverstein. <laughs> well, what, and then the second one you read was... The Dairy the Queen. girls that... that Snapchat the, bitches. Tip jar. Okay. Before we talk about them... Yeah. I want to talk about Dairy Queen. Please do. Because you and I have similar Dairy Queen experiences. Yes. <laughs> Where Look I grew up. Creepy. <laughs> Where I grew up, they had a Dairy Queen... In a strip mall, mm -hmm. and there was a, it's a it took up a whole city block. This thing, yeah, but none of the other stores in the strip mall were being used or even open or anything. They were all dilapidated and abandoned. Yeah, like maybe you a know? DMV in a Chinese place, maybe. Yeah, you know, at the far end was the cable company. Yeah, and that's not a store. Yeah, okay. But like all these, they had the they had boards in the windows. They had for rent signs in the windows, and years and years and years. Like as long as I can remember, this place was always like that. Except at the very end, was a Dairy Queen. Yeah. That somehow managed to tough it out. Yeah. <laughs> and it was kind of creepy. Yeah. And it was one of those Dairy Queens that, you know, the term um, half was ice cream, half was. Um, oh oh oh! It was. Uh, I want to fuck this up. Uh. Cool Treats Hot Eats. That's it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one one side was Cool Treats and the other side was Hot Eats. Yeah. <laughs> and they had like, you know, with the window soap ink, they had Dennis the Menace on there and all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, spokesman, what really rings true with the kids today? <laughs> Dennis the Men's a 1950s cartoon, <laughs> com comic strip. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, that's. And then you're Dairy Queen. Yeah. Then, <laughs> as far as back as I can remember, I had a strip mall that was dilapidated and old, and just no one. You would never see another person walk through. Really, it'd just be you walking in there. You wouldn't see traffic. No yeah. fucking way would you see traffic in this strip mall. <laughs> there was a DMV. I think outside to the side a bit was a karate dojo. I never saw anyone in. Uh-huh. And I think there was the smell, at least, of a Chinese place somewhere <laughs> in there. And you had to walk all the way through it. Halfway through it was a DMV. You had to walk to the other half. You get to the Dairy Queen, <laughs> and they had, like, those, like, on the walls, Dennis the Minutes. Like, someone, like, ordered, like, a big sticker. Right, right. It's like pressed it like on a, on a wall. Yeah, and they had like the cakes. Now was it hot eats? I don't know if it was even. This is the sad thing. I think your dilapidated Dairy Queen was better than mine. <laughs> I don't think we had hot eats. <laughs> I think oh, yeah. we only had cool treats at this one. <laughs> um, it's fucking sad. I just thought that. I don't ever remember. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. How, how I like times, to think so. How many times you've been in there? You know what? I can't even tell you if it's there anymore. Like, the last time I was there was probably nine years ago. Wow. Eight, nine years ago, years ago, probably. You know what? I've been in the Dairy Queen <clears throat> that was in its own strip mall more recently than you've been in yours. And I don't even live in that town anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out of that town for a long, long time. Well, I have to go to the DMV, so... Yeah, Eventually, yeah. so maybe I'll swing by. Yeah, get us updates. Yeah, you'll get it. I also remember our Dairy Queen had two arcade machines. Oh, yours is way better than ours, man. Yeah? Yours well, I mean, is so much better. It's all that was in there. So, ours I mean, was like they're... a corner part of Dairy Queen. So yeah. like, it had like a corner store, so it was just, you walk by and it'd be open. Oh, okay. Like, did you have to pull a door to get in there? Yeah, well, like one side, it was literally two halves. And inside, they had the wall knocked out, so you could walk to either half inside, yeah. or you can go into either half from outside. No, see, this was like, you're walking down the strip mall, you take a right, but that's right at the corner, and it was yeah. like column right at that corner, but both sides were open, and it was just like those Dairy Queen seats and chairs and shit, <laughs> and what's up, bitch, it's Dairy Queen, like that, you didn't have, there's no yeah. door pulling or anything. Yeah, yeah. It was just open, like, the smallest sad food court <laughs> of cool treats you ever damn saw. <laughs> Dennis did you ever, and did you ever have anything uh, from there? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think that I, I remember once, like looking at a m menu, or I don't even know if they even have menus. It was like some fucking thing promotion, and it was something like a fashion, like some sort of fashioned up pizza, but it was ice cream or something. Mm. It was like this is our. Oh, cool was it that treat, Oreo ice cream Oreo pizza, pizza thing? or something? Yeah, I remember that. Like, hey, here's a slice of for the hot summer. You have right. our sad. By the way, thing. I'm gonna weigh in real fast. Yeah. Heavy, heavy dairy ice cream is the worst thing you can have on a hot summer day. Yeah. Is it not? Do you not feel like the worst after you have some vanilla ice cream and go out in the hot sun? Yeah. No. Oh. That'll make you. That'll make. That'll ruin. I day. don't think I've ever said let's eat some ice cream to cool down. Yeah. And then play some baseball or something. <laughs> no man, never. It's a death wish. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> ice cream and a hot dick kill you faster than a bullet. I say. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy working at there, Queen. <laughs> man, you loco, man. Hey, you loco, man. <laughs> you don't. Oh man, you can't, you can't eat that Dairy Queen cake and then go out there in the sun, man. <laughs> Dishing it out. <laughs> yeah. It <was> big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got a hairnet on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what happened. Girls are stupid. Not even girls, <laughs> just this generation. And I know I sound like I'll include my generation. I don't care. I'll include every fucking generation for the next hundred years and the previous hundred. Just I think it should be it should be a majority of people and all young people are idiots. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. It's just I'm so sick of it. But um, the internet is cool. 
It's an awesome place. You know, you couldn't hear Best Five Minutes without it. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yet. <laughs> Getting the college radio and... Yeah, that, that won't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody has struck a deal. I've tried. Nah, we'll get it. Yeah, I'll, thanks. I'll talk to some people. We'll you know, I've never had the... <laughs> yeah. I've never had the urge to steal. Um, money. <laughs> money? <laughs> like, yeah. What? Is hearts? I've, <laughs> like, I've, what was... <laughs> I've stolen a lot of food. <laughs> oh yeah, I've yeah. I've stolen a lot of food. <laughs> I've stolen a lot of food, but I've never stolen cold hard cash. Same. Yeah. I've stolen a lot of food. Yeah. I may have stolen the odd video game from friends. <laughs> oh, you're that guy. <laughs> you know, I mean, where's they, my they... Donkey Kong Racing? Diddy Kong <laughs> Racing. <laughs> Look, dude, Max took a, it. There's a statute of limitations when somebody leaves a video game at your place. And then they never get it? Yeah. I'm sorry, after it's been there at least four months. Oh, so you weren't actively grabbing it from their house when you were over? No! They no, left no. it and you just. They it's left yours it. Now. Okay, yeah. so that's different. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And then, you know, I'm gonna go trade this in and get me something I like. <laughs> that's how that went. <laughs> but no, I, I've stolen a lot of food. Yeah, I, I used to work at a place where I dealt with food, so that was even easier. Yeah, uh, see, it's easy for you, man. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> sometimes you just realize, maybe I want this Butterfinger for free, man. <laughs> I haven't done that forever, though. It's not like I'm doing this every day, <laughs> or every month, or every year. I don't think I've stolen, well, no. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, like, the stuff I would steal is not stuff wrapped, you know, oh, usually. Yeah. No, 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 not new. It's not, it's not like I'm grabbing... Yeah. Like bacon I'm I'm and shoving like... it like down the back <laughs> yeah. of my pants. No, dude, I'm talking like break room fridge. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just get Thanks. what you take. Take all you can get. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, they don't write their names on it. Okay. Who cares? They these should bitch, know. These assholes I yeah. uh, work with. Yeah. They bring in triscuits. Oh. They sh they do a fucking half day. They have the nerve to do that. Guess what? That's free game. Those are my triscuits now. Yeah. You know what? You leave hummus in the in the fridge. I don't even like hummus, but I'll hate eat it because you won't have it. <laughs> you know why? Because winners eat. <laughs> That's why. I think there's some evolutionary lesson in there somewhere. Yeah. All right. Well, they should be the dumbest criminals. <laughs> should they should be the dumbest criminals? All right. All right. <laughs> um, I guess that's Cowboy Roundup. Yeah. Right? There you go. All right, cowboy. Uh, let me let's see. That's at 30, 37. <laughs> yeah. Fifty-five. Yeah, only because it took you that long. Cowboy round. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> cowboy round. Yep. What now? I don't know, man. Is that it? Usually, Fetty would tell us facts, but yeah, we don't have any facts. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't, know any, I don't know anything either. Yeah. Huh. This is weird. I don't know how to... I don't know either. What? If, oh, you know what? You know what? what I remember? What's up, man? Um, last time we did an episode, I, I only know this because I edited it, is at the end when it's time to wrap up, we yeah. say, glove it and wave. Glove it and wave? <laughs> do you remember that at yeah, all? Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> that was just trying to think of a way to end it. Yeah. So now we know how to end it. <laughs> Thank Glove God it. we had that conversation. Glove it and wave. Glove it and wave. All right, guys. <laughs> is, that, is that... Did we end it? Yeah, I guess Glove it and wave. This has been Mike and Max Cast. Mike to the Max Blast with Mike and... Max? <laughs> See, we're doing like the crisscross. Okay, I can't All do right. that. Crisscross wears pants on backwards. Glove it and wave. Glove it and wave. <laughs> <laughs> glove wave it. I said glove it in ways. By accident. Glove it in ways. <laughs> How many different ways is there to glove something? <laughs> the pickup was left straddling the pipe. Dude, what's that word that you used to use? De-glove? De-glove? Yeah, like when your hand de-gloves. <laughs> when your arm de-gloves. Oh, God. That's so gross. Don't uh, look up de-gloved arms on YouTube. <laughs> Please don't. Because there's actually... Oh, okay. Uh, too late. All Lemon right. party. Glo <laughs> Glove it and wave, guys. Glove it and wave. <laughs>